Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and good spirits. Gee whiz, just as I was getting organized and gearing up to do the presidential campaign in the United States, which is, you know, as you can imagine with the number of seats that are up and all the things that are involved, is takes quite a bit of time, tarot-wise, to kind of get organized. Gosh, just as I'm getting ready to crank open with that, Rishi Sunak, Prime Minister of England, drops the writ. Parliament's been dissolved. The Brits are going to the polls for July 14th. Of course, have to pull a few cards on that. Now, I am not going to pull the cards on whether or not the Tories are going to rewin yet another mandate because I don't think there's a hope in hell. We might do it a little bit later down the road, but right now, the energy is so anti-Tory everywhere that I can't imagine that after 14 years of being completely intellectually bankrupt, that they have a hope, right? And, you know, the Bre Brexit chickens, more like vultures, are coming home to roost. So, yeah, good luck. Mr. Sunak. I did, however, have a viewer request on it, so that's why I'm kind of getting at it so soon. And that was somebody who wanted me to take a look at the 18 parliamentary seats in Northern Ireland. Now, as of the time that the, the polls um, were dissolved, we had, like I said, 18 seats in Northern Ireland. Eight of them were held by the Democratic Unionist Party. Um, these are the Ulster Unionists, uh, which means they support Northern Ireland remaining as part of the United Kingdom, and they are opposed to uh, United Ireland. Uh, the party itself sees itself as defending Britishness and Ulster Protestant culture against Irish nationalism and republicanism and, you know, Catholics. It's a holdover from, you know, the Troubles in the 1970s. And they have done everything that they have can do to try and hold on to the past. Let's give it the nice, a very nostalgic party. Anyways, they hold eight seats out of the 18. Sinn Féin and they hold seven seats. Now it's very interesting for people who are voting for Sinn Féin and for those seats because to the best of my knowledge and please if you know better please correct me in the comments but my understanding is that when a member is elected to a parliamentary seat in uh, Northern Ireland Sinn Féin members will not take their seat because to do so would require them to swear allegiance to the British Crown, which of course is just completely contrary to everything that Sinn Féin belongs to. So people that are voting for that, they know that if they elect a Sinn Féin member, then they are going to have no parliamentary representation for their district. Still, there are seven Sinn Féin candidates uh, in the House at time of being dissolved. The other three, we have uh, two Social Democrats and we have one member of the Alliance Party. And the Alliance Party is a younger party. It's younger people and they are, they're ready to put the troubles, the Catholic, Protestant divide behind them. And it really is a party that is trying to, you know, turn Northern Ireland into something that's not a relic of the 1970s and they are trying to deal with these people who really want to live in the past and keep it maintained to their liking so anyways i am going to be doing three readings and they'll be filmed at different times here so they they might be just kind of stitched together for the final video but the first one we're going to look at is what are dupes the Democratic Ulster Party's um, chances going to be in the election. Just like give us an overall idea where the energy is. The second one I'm going to do is Sinn Féin. And the third one, I want to take a look at what Alliance is doing because I see Alliance as being the future 
of Northern Ireland politics and people, because it's people coming together and trying to build something as opposed to people who just want to tear down and burn. Anyways, we're going to do a reading with a, a new deck for us, and this is the Tarot of Mystic Moments, Mystical Moments, and it is by Catherine Wells Stein. There'll be a deck review on this later on in this channel. It's absolutely a lovely deck. First card in this reading, we have the Ace of Cups. Now this is a card that's about contemplation. It's about being very selective about what you're dealing with. And it can be a bit like no excitement. There's a kind of a boredom that's just the this, this bit of the same old, same old, same old. And that is, I think, what Dube has to deal with. They've been beating the same drum for at least two decades, if not more. And we'll see. The next card, and this is the, 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 we're just doing five card draw, so this is still leading energy. We have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is about, you know, having a giving nature or generosity or sharing or opening up. So I see that they are probably trying to expand themselves. Whether or not they're going to do that by letting go of some of the hardcore positions, that remains to be seen. But there is an element here that is wanting to make them more less a party of the past and more a party of the future. And we'll see how that works out. Central energy in this reading. We have the death card. And that's a card that's about changes and endings, endings of old cycles and new beginnings and things being transformed and renewal and just an inevitability of this. And yes, the clock is run out on the time, right? You can't keep something alive as long as they have ha been trying to do it. And they want to make sure that they'll do anything, including sabotaging the Storm Mount, which is the, the local governance of Northern Ireland. You know, they'll refuse to sit their members because they're trying to prove a point. Like they shut down uh, the North Ireland Parliament for I think, like two years because they were having a tip about something. Obstacle. What obstacle is Duke going to meet? It is the Four of Wands in reverse. And this is a card that's about transition. We've got that hinted at in the death card, right? The transformations. It's also a card that's about instability. Four of Wands reverse. It's talking about instability. And so they are navigating very, very unstable energy with very unstable position, right? So this is not looking good not looking good at all and the final card in this five card reading for dupe we have the nine of wands nine of wands when it's in an upright position like it is right now we're looking at perseverance and having some resilience while they have been hanging in there uh, very determined great determination and you know they set up their boundaries and this is going to be it, and this is going to be the way it is, and they stick to it. And they have great hope that the rest of the world will come around to their way of thinking. But the other part that about the Nine of Wands, yes, you're persevering, and yes, you're being determined, but it's exhausting, and they are being pushed to the brink of exhaustion. So that is the look at the... Democratic Ulster Party, also known as Do. Well, I've had a chance to reshuffle the cards for a take a look at Sinn Féin and how they might uh, fare in this North Ireland election. And Sinn Féin, of course, is the Republican Party. They are their their main political goal is the reunification of Ireland. So Northern Ireland leaves the UK and joins with the Republic of Ireland. And that has been their about goal since the get-go. But apparently a lot of people in Northern Ireland uh, 
have a support for that. As I mentioned in the introduction, there's this policy of absenteeism for Sinn Féin in that any parliamentary re representative that's elected that would have to swear allegiance to the British Crown in order to take their seat in Parliament, which of course that's the only way you're going to get in, they won't go for it. So really those seven jurisdictions are kind of lacking parliamentary representation, but the voters know that before they go in. Now, there has been a proposal that has been made that the 18 North Ireland MPs who um, sit or would be eligible to sit in the Parliament of the United Kingdom, that they should be allowed to sit in the Thrall Aaron, which is the Irish Republic of Ireland's uh, national parliament, and they should be able to sit as full deputies. But to the best of my knowledge, this is still a proposal. And if you know better whether or not it's been passed and is now a policy, uh, drop something in the comments because really, I find North Ireland's um, politics very, very confusing. So it'd be very easy for me to screw this up. Anyways, let's take a look. I'm using this. I want to use the same deck uh, between them so we kind of keep a stable energy going here. So let's look at Sinn Fein's chances in the next election. Page of Pentacles in a reverse position. Now, this is a card that's about procrastination and immaturity and laziness is a kind of pejorative word, but you just haven't got everything put together. And so I would say that there is a question as to whether or not Sinn Féin has the political maturity at this particular point in time to kind of bust through their break-even status with dupe and, uh, you know, to push more strongly into leading Northern Ireland. Also, all pages are messengers from Spirit. So we'll pull the pages, um, message at the end of this reading, but where it's in a reverse position, it's more than likely to be less positive news. Or... Now, we're still in the realm of leading energy, and we have the five of wands in a reverse position. This is actually a really good card uh, for everybody because the five of wands, when it is reversed, it's talking about peace and truce and agreements and kind of that energy building and moving. It is more people working towards a common cause than trying to divide everybody. So that is uh, good news. In the central energy on this reading, we have the Knight of Wands in a reverse position. Knight of Wands, when he's reversed, is very impulsive and kind of reckless. Has a bit of arrogance to him. He really does. I call him Mr. Uh, act Now and Think Later. And kind of a very passive energy. So this is not, once again, that harkens back to that whole page of Pentacles in reverse. Where we get the idea that there's an immaturity that's involved here. Now, what kind of obstacles are they facing? We have the Ace of Pentacles in its in a reverse position. The Ace of Pentacles, when it's reversed... It's about delays and poor planning and those kind of stresses, often like financial or material stresses. This was a surprise election. I don't think anybody expected Rishi Sunak to pull the plug for a July 14th thing. I think it's caught everybody, including the Conservative Party in the UK, uh, a bit flat-footed. And I would say that Sinn Féin has definitely been caught flat-footed. They're not prepared and weren't prepared to be fighting an election. And of course, the election campaign is like six weeks long, right? So you got to hit the ground running and they're not ready. Now, final outcome. We have the Hermit. Hermit's a card that's about solitude and introspection. It's about giving 
yourself the time and space to be able to develop some wisdom around something that comes from self-examination. Really looking at yourself with a critical eye, not like coming down with like hair shirt or whatever, but really taking yourself like, what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? This is going to be, this election is going to be an opportunity for them to grow, but it is not going to thrust them into the seat of power, but they are going to take a lot of lessons from this uh, as to how they want to communicate, how they want to put their position together. And so it's not bad news, but I don't see them making big breakthroughs here. And the page's message here, uh, we have the Five of Swords. Now the Five of Swords is card this book, Partisan Conflict, which of course, you know, Sinn Féin has been involved in for a long time, um, in competitive and aggression. So it's those elements of the aggression and conflict and doing that to push your agenda is really coming into conflict with the five of wands in reverse that we had there, which is about peace and agreements and, you know, escalation. So here we have these two fighting forces, and I think that they're pretty much going to hold uh, Sinn Féin into pretty much the situation that they're in right now. So I'm not seeing any great breakthroughs for Sinn Féin in this election. Now I want to take a look at Alliance, which is a centrist liberal political party. It kind of rejects the notion that there's is only two monolithic communities in Northern Ireland, you know, uh, Protestant and Catholic, and never the twain shall meet. Um, Alliance pushes for a belief that support for unionism, which is staying in the United Kingdom, or nationalism, which is uh, leaving the UK and joining Ireland, uh, Republic of Ireland, these are political choices, and they're not uh, inviolate um, personal characteristics. So it's something that might change and mutate throughout one's life. So if you're Catholic, you're not necessarily tied to the nationalist cause, or if you're a Protestant, you're not necessarily a unionist. And there is room for all of you who don't fall into either camp in Northern Ireland. That's something that they really have pushed for. They have also advocated for some serious political structural reform in Northern Ireland that would kind of move away from this, you're either Protestant or you're Catholic, or you're either Unionist or you're Nationalist. Um, An alliance rightly is saying like, excuse me, no. Although, to be fair, um, Alliance does support the Good Friday Agreement. It was also um, against Brexit for good reason. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at what the cards have to say about how Alliance might affair in this election coming up in the UK. They hold one seat. Now, they have a fair amount of support in Ireland, but it's not sufficiently concentrated for them to take a seat. Right, so they have a much higher representation than what the seat numbers would give it to you, but um, it's too diffuse. So they do have one seat in the parliament that just dissolved, and we'll see if they're going to build on that. Right, first card in this five card reading, we have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, oh my goodness, can you not love it? This is a card that's about clarity and epiphany and truth and breakthrough. So I think Alliance, just looking at this first card right off the bat, Alliance is going to have some kind of breakthrough. This is going to be a big opportunity for them and they're going to have a, a platform from which they can push some of their ideas out. And this is being backed up by the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very nurturing but she also uses her intuition and her power. She really comforts and supports dreamers in what they would like to happen. So she's a very positive energy and very supportive. Now, in the central reading on this, we have justice and it's in a reverse con 
condition. This is a little bit unnerving given the, you know, how the sectarian violence has played out in Northern Ireland over, you know, the past 40 years because justice when it's reversed is a card that's about injustice. It's about dishonesty. It's about corruption and bias. So this is going to be something that they're going to have to be worried about. I mean, we've seen a few brief flare ups in the past couple of years of people that are trying to reignite the old flames of hatred. And of course, as younger people are moving into the start of their political life, this is becoming uh, more threatening to older generations that are still holding on to ideas from 40, 50 years ago. What's their opposition here? We have the five of wands in a reverse position. Of course, we just had that in Sinn Féin's um, reading. And here we have the idea of uh, peace and truce and agreements coming together and, you know, the situation ramping up in a positive manner. Now, in the Sinn Féin reading, it was part of the leading energy that was going into it. This one here, it's being an obstacle to alliance. So it's helping Sinn Féin's cause, and it's something that alliance is going to have to work to overcome. And the final card in this reading, we have the Eight of Cups in a reverse position. This is kind of about stagnation, kind of losing your stand. It can be a fear of change, which is something that I think that goes with that Five of Wands in a reverse. But it's also a card that's about returning home and finding the place where you belong and being able to express that freely and build upon it. So, overall, what do I think of these 18 seats that are in Northern Ireland and how it's going to fare? I think that Dube is going to probably lose seats and popular support. I think that Sinn Féin will probably stay roughly where they're at. I think it's very possible that Alliance is going to be able to break through and consolidate some of that support that they have in Northern Ireland and have it translate into parliamentary seats. So that's the reading for today. If you like this content, please feel free to like it. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. If you'd like to be a member of this community, by all means, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, any comments, like I would love to know if the absentee policy is still in effect. And I'd love to know if the proposal for these members to sit in the Republic of Ireland's parliamentary house has gone through. If you got any information on that, by all means, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And that's the reading for today, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.